across our brands at George Pacific, we went down a path and embraced storytelling and story framework as a different way to engage with consumers. And through that, we learned that it was important to have, have shared values and shared beliefs with our consumers and to become more purpose driven. And as we did that, we started developing content that took us in a very different way and a different path, which led to more engaging stories, more engaging pieces of content that our female consumers really appreciated because the stories were more relevant to them, but also we started to portray them more accurately in everything we did. Such we, as? Uh, we did that, uh, for example, it translated into how we did our media planning and that we aligned ourselves to partners and publishers and media content that portrayed women accurately and that was more family friendly. But also the content, if you look at our brawny ads or our Quilted Northern ads or our Dixie uh, content online, they have all become more uh, accurate in how we portray women. For example, Angel Soft, uh, we started off with a campaign where we highlighted and celebrated the challenges that single moms have. Uh, another video series for AngelSoft was about the challenges that step parents have with children that no, do not automatically love you back and the challenges you have with that throughout, the, throughout their lives of both the child and, and the parent. On Dixie, we used to talk about plates that are 10 times stronger, very functionally driven, and we switched to recommending and inspiring people to be more here while they're at dinner and put away their phones and connect with your mom and connect with your daughter. And so we have several examples where we do that. So in our media placement, as well as in the content development, we've become more and more family friendly, more engaging because we have this shared belief with our female consumers. We have become more purpose driven and therefore more engaging. So when uh, the ANA and the AFE reached out to, her, to us to say, hey, we've seen your awards, do you want to become a member? Because we believe you're already aligned to our, our mission. We jumped on it because when we read the mission and all everything in there, like, we don't have to change anything. We're already on this journey, we're on this path. And we're more than happy to join an industry effort to further accelerate it. And that's what we did. Cool. And um, in terms of media and um, video in particular, that's a big part of what you do. How has that changed and how does the video planning earn social video, bought video? Um, how does TV or video fit into extending this theme? Well, if you look at, at our media mix, we still have a large part in what we would call traditional TV and traditional video, whether it's online or offline. But we also started to do more and more in other areas in the online space, uh, whether it's in the social media or other news outlets or recipe websites and those kind of things. And we started to divert and make different messages for different audiences in different environments. So what you see for AngelSoft on TV is different than what you see from AngelSoft in the social media space. Um, we're a little bit more uh, emotional in our online content than that we are on TV. Uh, and then when we're in store and leveraging shopper marketing, we are more functional, even more functional than we're on TV, for example. So it's kind of the closer you get to the point of purchase, the more functional we get, the further away we are from the point of purchase, the more emotional we are. And basically we have this whole story framework that we bring to life in different ways, in different channels at different times the consumers engage with us.